The mvmove command performs both file moving and file renaming, depending on how it is used. In either case, the original file name no longer exists after the operation. Let me create a few files so we can see the example of them moving to another directory, renaming, renaming them. I will use touch command to create a few files, file 1, file 2, file 3. Now I will list the content of directory. We have these three files, file 1, file 2, file 3. To move file 1 from the current directory to another directory, such as documents, I can use the command mv move file 1 and then the destination directory. I'm just going to use documents. And now I'm going to list the content of documents to make sure that we have file 1 over there now. Yeah, we have file one move there and now I'm going to check my current directories listing to make sure that file one is no longer over here so when we move the file it get deleted from the original directory to move multiple files using a single command we can use command and the file names file 2 file 3 and then the directory let's check the directory again documents directory that we have file 2 and file 3 moved over there yes we have those To move a directory, the command is the same as that used for moving a file. First, I will make a new directory with make directory command be my directory. And just check it out. We have this my directory created over here. Now I'm going to rename this my directory. I'm sorry, move this directory to another directory. We will use move command the same way we did with file. I will move my directory. Let's copy my directory to our that document folder. Now to make sure that we move that our my directory into documents, I will list the content of documents folder. Okay. You can see we have it over here. And in our root directory, I will list it again. So it is deleted from here and move to documents directory. The move command is also used to rename files and directories Let's rename. First, I will create another file, then rename it to example one dot. For example, I have first I will make a file and name it a file touch and just check that we have file created. Yes, and now I'm going to rename it by using move and then file and then new name such as example example one you can see we, we have this file renamed as example one now i'm going to create a directory dir1 and just check we have dr1 yes and i'm going to rename d 
dir1 to dir2 this way we will we can rename the directory so now list it dir is renamed to dir2 when we use the mv move command to move or rename a large number of files or directories we can check that the command works successfully by using the minus v option while using the command suppose we want to move all the text files from the current directory to our document folder and we want to ensure it works correctly we can use the command i have this my file.txt and i want to move it to document folder i will create another file so we have at least two text files these two now I want to move it to document folder I will use MB move minus V and then I can use asterisk of star sign this mean all the files which end with the txt extension or the files which have txt extension and then the folder we need to copy into or move into you can see those files are moved into document folder and we are also able to see on the output if we have already file with the same name then we can force the with the minus i option to move the file and it will ask if you want to override it for example if i want to now we have my file 2.txt or my file.txt in document i will create it again new one in the root directory my file.txt and now I will move with I option and give the name my file.txt to documents. We already have this name in documents folder, so we are using minus I option. So uh, it will uh, ask us before overriding it. You can see it's asking for us that if you, if you want to override this file which is has the same name of our my file so i'm going to enter yes and it worked to keep on learning and more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you